Shannon Barkey joins us now. Good to have you here. Is your hair pink? Thank you so much for having me. Well, I'm six months that. pregnant, so I tried oh. not to have, you know, super pink <laughs> hair, but it's coming back soon. <laughs> That's fantastic. Good for you. Hey, I I'm curious. Thank so, you. Do you, watching the Olympics, do you miss it? Or are you glad you're not there in the, in the thick of that stressful situation? Oh my gosh, well, I miss it so much. But then, you know, when I see the competitors in, their gate, in the gate and I see their eyes and I see their breathing and I just remember that feeling and I'm like, oh good, I'm so glad it's them. Keep going, you got it, guys. <laughs> you, you are now an entrepreneur. You started a couple of companies, you've got a book out. I, I've got to think that preparing for the Olympics starting a company, a lot of the skill sets must be the same, no? Yeah, I mean, you know, when you're training for the Olympics, you have a sole focus. And every day you, you work as hard as you can for that sole focus. And I think in business, you have to have that. You can't get sidetracked and, you know, you can't go down the wrong path. But for me, I love every day creating something new and trying to, you know, bring my passion and enthusiasm and love for athletics and everything, you know, movement and passion to the corporate world. So I'm, I'm really excited. I love what I'm doing now, and I'm really honored to be doing it. Shannon, let me ask you, because you, you seem like a very bright and optimistic person. And I think that's yes. probably the only way you can uh, <laughs> you can compete in the Olympics. Is that something that you've developed over time as part of training for the Olympics, or is that your nature? Are you were you a kid when you were a kid? Were you just an optimistic, positive person? Well, I think I'm pretty optimistic um, overall, but it's definitely something that you know doubt can creep in. And whenever you're having a hard time and you feel really low and you feel like you've got all these obstacles mounting. The only thing sometimes to get you through is your passion and enthusiasm and belief in yourself. So it's something I think I have in my nature, but I also work really, really hard on it. I can see a little pink, actually. Yeah, there is pink there. in there, yeah. <laughs> just not too much. I know, so just, a little, the just a little. <laughs> it's going to be like any... magenta in a couple of weeks <laughs> after you give birth. It, yeah. Any, right. any entrepreneur, any entrepreneur, any Olympian is going to say that, you know, there are going to be moments of failure and, and, I, and, and the role that that can play in all that. And I'm always curious, what was your biggest money mistake that you can think of that you've made? Oh my gosh, my biggest money mistake. Well, I think the biggest thing for us was starting our first company, Silver Bean Coffee. Um, it was something that I thought that we really, really wanted. And when we got into it and when we, we realized exactly what it was going to take to get to the end goal, it wasn't worth it for me. And we had to sell our company. So, you know, I, I knew in my mind, you know, what I wanted to sell it for and, and we didn't get there. But for me, that was such a huge learning experience. And everything that we learned along the way from that company has been so instrumental in how I run my company now and the way that I think about money, the way that I think about debt and all of those things. So that was my biggest mistake, but also the best opportunity. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.